What's going on? What's going on? Yo, today we're going to be talking about uh, the movie Conflicted, produced or by Griselda pretty much. You know, West Side Gun, you know, Benny. Uh, I don't got all the names and whatnot. Um, but I think it's a good movie, right? Off tops. I'm not picky like a lot of people are, you know, expecting these Oscar performances and whatnot. Um, you know, if, it, there's going to be spoilers in here, so if you don't want spoilers... Uh, go ahead and drop the 25 and go watch it, you know. Uh, like Wes said, if you can buy a pizza, you can support the culture, right? <laughs> but, uh, no, I think I enjoyed the movie for what it was. You know, um, like I said, spoilers. The 330 in Houston hits different after watching this movie, you know. Seeing Nick or uh, Benny, you know, getting gunned down and whatnot, you know, it messes up the main character. Uh, Hunter, uh, I feel who plays him. Like I'm not too good with names. Um, it messes him up a little bit because he, from the beginning, he's uh, fresh out of prison, right? Uh, I think he did what five years. I think he said he did Nick. Uh, yeah, fresh out of prison, he's trying to get his life right. And you know, when he's coming home, celebrating, you know, Benny or Nick is like trying to get him back in the game. He's like, Nah, I ain't trying to do that. You should stay away from it too. You know, start opening up businesses. Skits pretty much that's in that soundtrack. That's pretty much he was telling him, you know, we gotta get out of this shit. You know, it's, you know, it's consequences to this shit type, you know. And, uh, you know, Benny ain't wanna listen. You know, he's already, he's like, man, should you come back with some conscious shit? Then come to me with that, you know. And he ain't even like that. But, you know, you gonna do what you're gonna do, right? You know, been doing it so long. But, uh, Conflicted, the name, the title comes from pretty much the main character being conflicted between starting a new life or retaliation, you know, going back to the street life. Um, you know, what was it? Uh, he meets his, his new chick, you know, she she's pregnant, you know, with a kid, with his kid, and, you know, she's telling him to leave this shit alone, you know, or, you know, take care of the kid you know, or help her raise the kid because you don't want the kid going up without a dad or whatever. You know, he's just split. Cause he, he was already deep in the street before he got locked up. You know, he found, he got religious pretty much when he was locked away. He came back. He's like, nah, I ain't giving those crackers no more years. You know, conflicted. The title of the movie definitely makes sense. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it for what it was. Like I said, I'm not picky like a lot of people are. Uh, my only real complaint, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's the best movie ever made. None of that shit. I'm just saying my only real complaint is that uh, it's hard to get like invested into the story, you know, when you got the guys that Benny is beefing with wearing Benny merch, if it makes any sense, like wearing the Tana Talk 3 hoodie or the Don't Get Scared Now hoodie, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just funny, you know, these guys beefing with them, but they're wearing that shit. I know it's two different things, but you know, it's just, it's hard for me to like, because I've been wearing the chip so long, it's like, it's hard to like separate it, you know, but uh, yes, it's about two, two hours, ten minutes, definitely worth 25 bucks, you know. Friday night, Friday night, nothing else better to do. Um, definitely, definitely check the movie out. You know, uh, the characters are pretty good. You know, Hunter's homeboy uh, was messing with his girl while he was in jail and whatnot, so they had a little falling out towards the end. Uh, West Side Gun actually had the best appearance <laughs> out the whole movie. You know, he came out to the to Lotto. You know, one of my favorite songs. And uh, the ending is just dope. I fuck with the ending hard. Definitely gonna be a part two. Hopefully, working on that soon. After all this virus shit gets taken care of. Uh, but yeah, you know, good movie. I think it would have been better as a TV series, personally. But I guess they're trying to branch out from movies to music. If it was a TV series, this shit would have. If, if season one was this whole movie stressed out, you know, um, you know showing. Uh, Hunter getting locked up and Benny rising up in the ranks in the streets and whatnot, you know. Instead of showing how powerful or high up West is, you know, I think it would have been better in my opinion. I, oh man, I can only think like on some Breaking Bad shit. You know how it's full build up, but you know when it pays off, it pays off type shit. That's just me personally. I think it would have been better as a TV show. I like TV shows more than movies because you get more time with the characters anyway. You know. But uh, maybe it'll do something like that later on in the future once they get, uh, like, <clears throat> established or whatever. 
But uh, as far as their first movie they put together, it's dope, man. It makes you know. I used to when I was young, I wanted to put movies together too, but I don't know how to do that shit. I can barely edit. <laughs> you know, I might actually learn how to do that shit this year actually. But um, yeah, solid movie, definitely worth twenty five bucks. I don't know if you keep it or not. Oh, I mean, I hope you do, but they're probably gonna sell it or some shit. Um, but yeah, it definitely it, it makes me appreciate the soundtrack more too. You know, um, I still have no idea why the fuck "Welcome Home DMX" or DMX is in the title of "Welcome Home DMX," but that's whatever. Good movie, definitely check it out. Uh, let me know what y'all thought. If anybody even watches this shit, you know, uh, you may like these uh, classic street movies or whatever, uh, but uh, or hood tales. No, but uh, that's it. Take it easy.